Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com where I do what's fun. Today's fun is doing a test upgrade of a new joystick for my Arcade Legend, which is an Arcade uh, Legend from Chicago Gaming. It's a 2005 version. Um, it's got uh, it's got 185 games on it, and it's got the really nice games too. Uh, this is back when people were able to get and install like all the really classic games, like the Donkey Kongs, uh, the Galactica, um, the Miss Pac-Man, the Mr. Pac, Miss, Mr. Miss Pac-Man. Um, essentially, you know, you know, even Dungeons Lair, uh, Dragons Lair, um, it just all the really nice ones, and it emulates them really well on this big screen um, monitor. Uh, so. It even does play like the vector games pretty well too, um, even though it's not a vector machine. It does it, it does emulate them quite nicely. But I'm not real happy with the joystick, and the only major thing I'm not happy about with the joystick is that uh, the existing joysticks, some games are eight way and some are four. And when you play uh, when you play uh, a four way game, you know left right you know, left right up and down, and you're and you're in a game that actually only does four-way, yet your controller on your machine is eight-way, and there's no way to switch these machines, you don't get good response, especially things like Pac-Man and stuff like that. You, you tend to actually you know, miss your turn and stuff. And so I wanted something that you could switch, and this has a switch on the bottom, where you could switch it from eight-way to four-way. But this is, this is the Meg Stick Plus. The plus is that you can switch this without taking the panel off. You don't have to lift the panel up and then flip the switch. It's got this uh, clever little um, process where you, if you pull up on the stick and then twist it, it does, the, it does it from above the panel. You pull it up again, twist it the other way, and then release it. And hencely that mechanical switch is now switched from 8-way to 4-way um, from above the cabinet. Which, you know, that's really nice. Now I do know they make even a, a, a better one that hooks up to the electronics of the newer machines and it has a little servo in there and it'll flip that switch for you just based on the game you pick. You pick a four-way game, it switches it for you. Um, but I didn't, this game is older and I didn't want to fuss with anything like that. I can turn it easy enough and I'll mostly be playing four-way games uh, and not, not so many eight-way games. Uh, and, and so that's what I want to do. I want to test this um, Meg, I think Meg is short for magnetic because it's got like a magnetic return. Meg uh, Stick Plus. Now they do sell a non-plus which means um, you have to open the cabinet and flip the switch, which, you know, why do that? This is $50, probably one of the more expensive ones with the micro switches on the bottom. Uh, this is not a sponsored video if I didn't say so. This is my own money, it's my own arcade. I'm just going to see how it works. Now let's take a look at the cabinet and what I, what, what, what I don't like about it um, on top of the four-way and three-way. Three-way. Oh. Um, but another thing is that if you start pushing it, it'll it'll respond quite nicely, but it, it goes a long way. There's a lot. There's a when you go from far right to far left, you, it's a lot of travel, and that's another thing that's supposed to be good about this Meg Stick Plus, is that the travel's a lot less. That's the full travel right there, left, right, up, down. And watch it from the side, I guess. That's full travel, full travel, and you compare that to this one, you can. You can see it's so you waste a lot of time going changing direction and stuff by because you have to throw the stick back and forth so much, and so that's what this is supposed to help with. Now I would say that I had to when I first got this I could tell that I wasn't getting good response. Um, it was missing on one, and what I did is I loosened up the set screws and I tweaked these a little bit and then tightened them up again, and then got to where it was registering all the time. Um, so now it works. I might have to do that anyway. But let's go ahead and uh, put this in. I'm also this button's wore out over the last <laughs> 10 plus years, so I'm going to take one of these buttons, one of these micro switches over here that never gets used because most of the switching is here and here. So I'll switch out these uh, these micro switches so this button is essentially uh, revived. Um, and that's the only other thing I'm going to do. Trackball is working really good, but I might take it apart and and clean it um, as well. And you just take out four screws and you're and you're good to go. And then this just kind of drops down a little bit and then flips up. You know, it's a really good, uh, well, I mean, it's reasonable, I guess. You can't play a, a four-way game for to save your life on the damn thing. Um, it looks like the hole pattern is going to be a little bit different, too. So I might have to make adjustments for that. So I'm just going to unscrew these and uh, pull this off. I'll mark all these wires 
The ground wires, of course, are all black. They all go to the black side. So I just have to mark the colors for the other ones as far as what's up, down, left, and right. So I got all the screws out. Um, I put a towel underneath this. That way it just doesn't move around and it catches any screws that fall through. Um, but I think I gotta uh, pop that little C-clip off or G's-less clip. And, uh, and then the shaft can come out that way and then the mechanism separates. And the G's-less clip came off and these uh, little uh, plastic like kind of rubber bumpers come off. So then I think it's all just gonna pull through now. Yeah, now it just pulls up. There. And the towel captured everything that was going to fall through. So, didn't that work out good? I could unplug it too, I guess, but no need. Uh-oh, looks like the Husky wants in. Okay, okay, I'll let you in. And this one doesn't have a G-less clip. It has um, a nylon uh, embedded wa or washer and nut combo and a spring in there. And that spring is so that when you pull down, it, it locks into that bit of plastic there. So you pull down, it locks into that plastic, and that's what lets you turn that lever. It gauges that lever. And then when you release the spring, then that little tang of metal comes up and out and releases that plastic lever down here. So this has to come apart the same way so that this can go in. And I have to drill some holes um, in here to get the right spacing because it's a little off. Um, but I, th I think the hole is going to be fine. Um, I don't think there's going to be a problem with the hole. The shafts are about the same length, so I'm not really worried about shaft length either. The above the plastic is about the same. And that has a fairly thick shaft, and this is a fairly thick. I would say they're probably the same thickness, so I don't think the hole is going to be... I don't think the hole is going to be an issue. And to put these micro switches in, it's you just put the front tang in the hole, tilt it backwards, and as soon as... because you're in that one tang, tilt it backwards and then it just clips right in. So basically you're just reversing that, unflip this, roll it forward, comes right out. So I was just going to switch the micro switches, but I was thinking there's a there's a little difference in the spring response. This one that's been used for, I don't know how many years, 10, 11, 12, 13 years now? Yeah. That's a little different feeling than this. This is much firmer. So I'm going to switch out not just the micro, micro switches, but the springs as well. I mark it as old. So maybe I'll order all new ones someday if I don't like them, but for now I'm just going to refresh them by moving them up. So I've switched these, uh, my, all these uh, buttons and switches around, lower, upper, upper, lower. And now i got to put in this slightly smaller panel, so I've got to drill two new holes. It's going to leave two holes in my panel, but uh, they're fairly clean looking on the other side, so it should be okay. Okay, 7 32nd drill bit is the right size for these holes. There you go, just repeat. I should just be able to... Get this on. So now I just give them a little snug with the nut driver and then I just make sure it's nice and straight before I pull it down. I'm going to put a joystick back in. It's a magnet centered so it just snaps in like that. And then we have to put that uh, spring assisted adjustment on. Bit of an engineering problem with this uh, switchover mechanism. There's this little metal tang here. There's one on each side and it's got like a little protruding piece of tang that goes down. That engages with the plastic collar. Plastic collar is what will prevent a four-way action in an eight-way setting. And that collar, that plastic collar, has to turn with this metal tang. And the micro switch lever there is actually catching on that. So when you go to pull down and engage that plastic, so the concept is you pull down and it engages that plastic collar so that when you turn, you turn both the switch and the inner collar. And that collar then will switch with the lever and then and then you're in eight way and you can go in any in any direction. And then in this position there's no problem. It, this little metal tang doesn't catch on the micro switches. And then it switches back. But as you can see, um, when you're in this position now, that metal tank can come down, and as you come down, it catches. You know, get that on camera. There, see it catches. There, click. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to take a grinder, and I'm just going to 
just or I'm not a grinder, but a file. I'm going to file this a little bit more smooth, more a little bit more angled, so that it doesn't catch on that uh, micro switch lever. You can kind of see the one side wasn't catching, and it seems to be beveled a little better. And this side that was catching, it's a little more square, and that's that's basically they didn't bevel both sides properly. They're getting in a hurry. So far, there's a few little tweaky things about this I do not like. So now we have a little bit better bevels to miss those, uh, to get behind those uh, micro switches. It'd be better to design the plastic a little longer, the collar a little longer, design everything a little bit longer, and there'd be no chance of this happening. And another reason that this is happening is that if you have these in, it, it, will, it will get behind the plastic and completely miss the micro switch lever. Um, but they have this they have this little metal collar on the bottom and it's supposed to slide up in here but the thing is is every time I was putting it on it would it would push these out it would spread these tangs and uh, spread them all the way out to where they were catching the micro switch levers because this is a little fat so I'm gonna basically just gouge a little bit out of this spacer so that this quits uh, spreading this gosh dang come on people little engineering here and this wouldn't be a problem they are a combination of beveling these and narrowing this, narrowing each side a little bit. This comes to slides up and down now without spreading these tangs out. There we go, now that is staying tucked nicely inside that little plastic groove. It has to jam into that plastic groove in order to turn the plastic collar. And every time now it goes in and it turns and it doesn't, it doesn't, it's actually nice and smooth now. It used to be really sticky because this was spreading every time and so it would kind of get stuck halfway down but now that this is thinned in the middle a little bit um, now it goes down smooth and it doesn't catch on those uh, it doesn't grab up on those micro switch levers either so that's a mod you probably have to make to this um, not to mention like I said earlier you have to adjust these micro switches just kind of bring them in a little bit um, so that it, 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 it hits them all okay uh, basically just plug it in now and and see how it works before I wire it up there's one more thing that's going to be an issue and that is that if you switch over to one of these uh, uh, mag sticks mag sticks or mag stick plus the micro switches are all rotated um, in respect to like this used to be this on the original one um, you push that would be down where over here now down is flipping this one not this one and so anything that was hooked up here now has to hook up here. Anything that was hooked up here is going to have to hook up here and so on and so forth. So that you, so that your directions are still correct. Um, uh, essentially still that the top, just like this, the top one is your signal like this one was red. It just goes over here now. And the top, when you look at these, this, the center, one that goes through the center is always the signal. And then the one with the black line is the ground on all of them. It's the top one. They're essentially is the ground, the common ground. So all these will still get the common ground, but I have to I have to play round robin with the with the signal wires. But just know that so that you don't wire up your controller and, and have it all working the sideways on you. So here's another install tip. This lever shouldn't be on this side because it can just hit this mounting bracket right here. And so even though it does have just enough clearance, it's not enough really. So you're gonna I could break it off, taking it in and out. So I'm going to rotate this whole mechanism so that the switch is on the inside, um, this lever, um, this three-way, four-way lever, or four-way, eight-way lever, so that, just so this has more clearance over here. And then, as long as the wires plug in correctly, the orientation is not important. And one last pro tip for installing this is, once you know you got this orientated in your machine the way you're going to finalize it, uh, go ahead and put like a little four down on this back side of, this, of the handle. Uh, just so that you can quickly glance at it and see, yeah, I'm in four-way. And really, I'm going to put an eight, too, so that you, you, it gives you a hint of which way to go. You know which way to rotate real quick by just glancing at it. So now that I know I'm in a nice, I'm nicely centered in eight, I'll put an eight right here. But everyone is facing the down position, and I know which way to go to quickly change. And then as far as the cabinet is concerned, um, you can't really hardly see the numbers that I put down there. And there are these holes because this is a slightly different size but it's not too terribly noticeable really and of course really nice that I'm in a four-way right now I'm in four-way just lift and twist and now I'm in eight-way and I can play an eight-way game lift twist and I'm in a four-way again I'm really anxious to see how this helps my Pac-Man game so with 
the eight-way stick, I was never able to get even just barely past the first act, which is like the third screen. That's 12,520, I think. And I just quit playing because I could tell it just it was just a stick. I couldn't I couldn't get anywhere with an eight-way stick on a four-way game. But let's see how we do now. Well, Act One was easy. I didn't even lose a guy this time. Well, it is definitely working better. I've made Act Two on on my second try. Joystick is definitely better. Um, in the four-way position. I don't have all the missed turns anymore, but it's still a little bit less. It's still not the same as an arcade, a commercial arcade joystick. Now the person I con I bought this from is uh, TNT um, Amusement, and I contacted them about this and he said, well there is a joystick that's being made that might do the job, that's got leaf switches, and they just came out with it, and it's not even expensive, it's about 40 bucks. So it won't be these contact switches that we're trying to use here, these, uh, these micro switches. Just, they just don't have the same response. But it's a dedicated four-way from what I heard, so I'm not exactly sure how good that's going to do. Um, but I'm going to try that next. Um, this one's definitely better, it's a big improvement. Uh, just got a new high score. And so I'll definitely be able to improve my game quite a bit. Uh, I, I usually make it to junior level when I play Pac-Man. So um, I'm looking forward to maybe uh, trying that other dedicated. If, if there's 185 games on this, if it turns out most of the ones I play are just four-way, then I'll just get the dedicated four-way. If not, um, well then, I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just make it to where I have. Maybe I could wire some switch up to where I could say I could switch over. And this could be set up for eight way, and this could be set up for for four way um, down here, and then I could come up with some sort of a crossover wiring where I could just flip a switch, and then this would be player one, because most games I play are player one, and then if I don't flip it, then this is a true player two. But this will always be eight position, eight way, dedicated mic uh, leaf switches, and then this one can be a dedicated four way leaf switches, um, and that way if you're playing single player. You can you can do either one, um, and it doesn't affect. I don't play too many two dual players anyway. So that's the plan. Um, thanks for joining. Um, having fun here uh, playing this arcade um, and all these great games. Uh, click the bell if you want more notifications of my upcoming upcoming videos, um, and uh, click like and subscribe as usual. Thanks for joining.